do it to the best of your ability today, tomorrow, and always, until finally the worthy deed becomes instinct. We are all made to do great things. Be accountable, be productive, be powerful, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. I'm about 5'10 with my shoes on. I'm comfortable. Procrastination says later, tomorrow, whenever I get a chance. In every circumstance we face, we are constantly presented with these two choices. Do it now or do it later. Discipline and procrastination. A choice between a disciplined existence bearing the fruit of achievement and contentment or procrastination. The easy life for which the future will bear no fruit. Only the bare branches of mediocrity. The rewards of a disciplined life are great, but they're often delayed until some time in the future. The rewards for the lack of discipline are immediate, but they are minor in comparison to the immeasurable rewards of consistent self-discipline. The time has come. Has come. Has come. The moment of truth is here. The question is, are you ready? Are you prepared? Do you have the strength? Everybody wants to win, but they don't understand what it means to sacrifice to win it all. Everybody wants to be a champion, but are you prepared to work hard enough to become the champion that you believe you can be? Do you think you have the mindset now? An immediate reward for lack of discipline is a fun day at the beach. A future reward of discipline is owning the beach. For most, we choose today's pleasure rather than tomorrow's fortune. So how can you get rid of the easy distractions? How can you keep your mind on what you're trying to do? How can you keep an attitude of doing it all and doing it now? How can you make the choice of discipline over procrastination? How can you stay focused on your ambitions? You can keep your focus on your work. You can get it done today instead of tomorrow. You've got to really work on your consistent self-discipline on a daily basis. Or you'll find yourself distracted. Distracted by negative thoughts, distracted by negative people. And pretty soon, depending on the type of people you've associated with, distracted by your doubts within yourself. Do you understand what it means to get into what they call beast mode? <laughs> but I'm here to let you know right now, ladies and gentlemen, it ain't about being beast mode. It's about life and death mode. It's about putting it on the line. It's about pushing yourself and giving it 110% of everything you got. There is nothing that you can do what you hear except finish what you start when the weakness starts to talk to you and whisper sweet nothings in your ear you got to recognize that that conversation doesn't help you that conversation that you're having with weakness is not gonna build you it's not gonna push you it's not gonna lift you you got to recognize that there's work that must be done you got to be responsible do like are you sure i'm comfortable married 510 been married 30 years 510 two beautiful kids 510 i don't need to be 66 that's your life I see dudes 6'10", I'm like, you wasting it. You bragging about you 6'8", you wasting the height. I'm using all my 5'10", bruh. I'm using all of it. Not to be funny, I ain't never got beat up. I use all my 5'10". I ain't been broke. I use all my 5'10". I use my mouth. I don't dream to be 5'10", 6'4". Uh, uh, I love my life. Y'all gotta start loving your life. And whether you make it to the league or not, you are not, you are not who you are because of the league. You are who you are because of who you are. And if you make it to the league, then the league is going to be blessed with your presence. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Be comfortable on who you are. Be comfortable if y'all poor. 
If you come from a family right now that's broke, you use that, use that to your advantage. I use that to my advantage that I was a high school dropout, that I was homeless. You got to be capable. You got to be willing to work for what you want. I know sometimes people like to talk to talk. I know some people like to pretend to be something they're not. I know sometimes people say they're lying, but you can't be a lion if you don't understand the rules of the jungle. So ladies and gentlemen, you got to recognize what it means to sacrifice, what it means to be powerful, what it means to be strong. This is your moment to shine. And if you're not willing to shine, then step aside. If you're not willing to work, then this is not the place for you. You got to toughen up. You got to look up. You got to build up. If you want it, this is the time to go get it. But you got to work for it. You got to believe in it. You got to trust in it. You got to let the power flow through the veins. Once that becomes your reaction to not change that thing that meant so much to you, that you dedicated your life to making it come true, that you don't change that, but rather you find another way, you tap into your creativity, you find somebody that can help you, you do whatever it takes to get on the other side of that, you do whatever it takes to build that life that you want to see. But if your reaction is to change your goal, to make it easier, to move it closer, to be less of who you could be, simply so you can check a box. You're never gonna have anything that's worth having. Also, if you wanna have more confidence and self-love, check out my 254 series, they're free. The links to join are in the description below. There's a gap between who people are and what they tell you they want to accomplish. You can tell the world to eat less and exercise more, and it will work for every single person ever that's ever done it. But the reality is, the vast majority of the world will not do that. What you think about yourself is at the end of the day the single most important thing that I ate out trash can. I, I love dealing with a dude who think because he come from money he better than me. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. You got money but do you got that dog? Yeah you got money you got print but do you got that dog? Can, do you got that stamina? So yeah you might have something I don't have right now but if I work hard I can have what you have. So so as I leave guys if you if you a person who respect like when you walked outside if you speak to people just because the people you running with don't speak to people don't you do what don't you not speak you, you like yo y'all do y'all but i speak what's up bro like my man gave me a firm one when we was out there he gave me a firm one i remember him because of that he looked me in my eye and said his name are you hearing me don't forget who you are don't forget who where you come from my last name is thomas i represent my stepfather who stepped in my life because my old dude didn't want to be there. I represent him. I could change my name if I wanted to, but everywhere I go, I respect the man who came in for me when my father wasn't there for me. As Haroon Yeya noted, I always wonder why birds stay in the same place when they can fly anywhere on earth. And then I ask myself the same question. As Mark Twain put it, the secret of getting ahead is getting started. And that's where people get stuck. You're literally like the bird. You could fly anywhere you want. You can go anywhere you want to go. And look, I know you've got a litany of excuses and all of them are valid. You've got a job you can't just leave or you don't have a job and you don't have the money. Your family is in one place. It's the only thing that you've ever known. You only speak one language. You've never traveled before. You don't have a passport. You can't afford the gas money. There are a thousand real reasons not to go but the truth is that none of them matter the truth is if you want to build something in your life then you have to remember what mark twain said you have to get started